Welcome to Food Exposed and our international cooking series. I've been fortunate over the years to have visited many, many different countries and to travel the world. I've studied in different countries on different continents and I've been in a million food stores, cooking stores and little shops everywhere and I never get tired of looking for unique different food tools. It's amazing what you can find. And in Germany, the culture has long been associated with food. Just remember the fairy tale, Hansel and Gretel and the gingerbread house. But today when you think of German food, what's the first thing that comes to mind? All right, besides Oktoberfest. Now, you got it. The different regions of the country have very different dis and distinct styles of cooking. And there's many staples of German cuisine that are found throughout the country everywhere you go, like sausage and cold cuts and seasonal vegetables and white asparagus, which is king during the, the season. It's on every table in every restaurant. But styles of cooking have changed over the past 50 years in Germany. Lighter midday meals are more common and more often the heavy meats, the game, the pork, the things that are traditionally associated with German cooking are less dominant. Mustard is always popular and there's a huge variety of mustards uh, served on every table and horseradish is also commonly used as a condiment. Joining me today on Food Exposed is Inga Rusch, a Munich-born citizen of the world. Inga has spent the past 34 years living in six different countries with her great husband and her two fabulous sons. She's here for a short yearly visit from her magnificent 120-year-old home on the River Seine just outside of Paris. Inga, welcome to Food Exposed. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> you know, today we're going to make something I think that's sort of Nouvelle German. I, it, yeah. 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 So, so, you know, preparing vegetables is I think no matter where you are, it's one of the hardest parts of cooking. It's one of the most time consuming, one of the most burdensome. And I was so excited when you introduced me to this German food tool <laughs> called a spirelli. And it's, um, I guess, some, a spiral food cutter, right? Right. Isn't right. that, that mm -hmm. simple? Mm -hmm. So um, it's made by this company, Gefu, that makes these German food tools. And today, uh, we're going to show our guests uh, what, it, what we can do with it. Exactly. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Yeah. Well, here, I'll, I'll let you be the Spirelli master. Spirelli master, okay. Yeah. And while you're doing that, I'll whip up a little dressing for our, Perfect. For our salad. All right. Um, would you mind if I Please. Spirelli away? Yeah, spirelli away. So this is how it works. It's really easy. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. They look like noodles. That's, that's Like spaghetti. That's the whole point, <laughs> right? Right. Wow. It doesn't take much, huh? No, it doesn't. That's I think beautiful. I, um, that probably So is you're enough, starting no? with zucchini. And yes. zucchini, you find that in a German salad? Yeah, nowadays, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 Tell me about Germans and, and German home gardens and that whole movement. Well, now, um, Look at it, this. it's beautiful, isn't it? It's so colorful. Uh, if ever possible, locals would grow um, their, their own salads, vegetables, and herbs. Mm -hmm. um, my uncle, who lives in Munich, even drives to a farm to, to make sure to get well-fed and, and naturally raised uh, chickens and wow. cattle meat from chickens. Neat, 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 yeah. neat. And while he's out there, he gets his farm fresh eggs. So uh, things have been rediscovered, old things. And what about the vegetables now? We've got these beautiful carrots, so we've got probably a good amount of that to bring some yeah. color to it. Right. Um, what other vegetables might you find in a salad like this? Um, there, there are also, well, always, of course, green the green uh, leafy vegetables mm -hmm. like romaine, or, mm -hmm. but also long forgotten treasures like uh, sugar leaf salad, for instance, buttercup. Uh, there are there are many varieties. Right. Asparagus you might find in in salad as well. But with the spirelli cutter. But with the spirelli cutter, uh, turnips work turnips. nicely. Yeah. Ah. And um, by the way, there is an, uh, a typical. 
uh, old, very old forgotten turnip, which uh, Goethe considered as gourmet food. That's called a uh, Taitao turnip. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> and this you could put in the spirelli away too. Spirelli away too. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to make a very simple dressing yes. with this because I would mm -hmm. guess that you don't get too elaborate. And um, I see we brought along some sun-dried tomatoes. So shall we put that in there as well for some color yes, and some that rich flavor? That will be absolutely right. great. So we have some sun-dried tomatoes packed in a little olive oil. And it uh, doesn't take much to give that flavor. And shall we use some of that olive oil flavor for our dressing as well? Mm-hmm. And, um, and the radish. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Now, at what time of day might Germans be um, having a salad like this? Probably for lunch. Lunch? Is, yeah. is lunch the midday meal there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've got some salt, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, and uh, we've got some white balsamic vinegar here. Mm, that's good too. Let's put that in. And um, I brought some fresh basil. Oh, mm. that is so pretty. All right, so, so now, I think that's enough for showing. Right. You yeah. want to pair some fresh basil leaves into yeah. that and all whip together this um, with a little bit of uh, mm. more olive oil. And what about protein? You know, protein here in the States, it's everybody's crazy about protein. Everybody has to have protein in everything. You know, we're we're eating a lot of protein these days. Um, I brought some mozzarella cheese. What else might you find uh, in this typically in a German kitchen? In the typical German, well, chicken for, for protein, of I course. I know German uh, cuisine, there's a lot of different sausages. Uh, a lot of, that's true, yeah. Sausages, however, very often are not so very healthy, no. right? No. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so we have a little bit of dressing here to go on our salad. And uh, let's just pour a little bit on. Mm. I don't want to overdress it. Right. Just lightly drizzle it. And... Looks wonderful. Here we go. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That is so it's pretty. It's pretty. It's yeah, very it's pretty. Really now, pretty. this is a noodle salad, but there's no noodles, right? No noodles. Right? So no noodles. how would you call this in, in German? In what German. would you call this? It's um, um, a vegetable salad. Mm, no, a gemüse salad ohne Nudeln. Ohne Nudeln. <laughs> it's an ohne Nudeln salad. Ohne, ohne okay. Nudeln yeah. gemüse salad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's taste this un and un salad, shall we? Okay. All right. <laughs> so, uh, look at that. It's so nice. Oop. Just like spaghetti. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's fun. All right. Uh, are you going to be brave enough to try to taste oh, this yes, thing? Oh, yes. It smells wonderful. Okay, well, you have to get a little, get a little cheese in there. A little couple of cubes of uh, mozzarella. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me know. So this could be a light, a light lunch. A light lunch, but for dinner as well, you know, it, it's really um, so versatile. All right. Mm. How do we do? Oh, you're so delicate. Mm. It's delicious. Good. It's really nice. Great. Mm. Ohne Nudeln. Ohne Nudeln no. Gemüsesalat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you'll uh, join me again for some more International oh, Food Oh, I'd love Jewels. to. And for this recipe, you can visit our website. Uh, you can come to Food Exposed and uh, find in uh, the recipe and more tips about German cooking and German foods. And, of course, we hope you'll tune in for another segment of our International Food Tool series where we explore what's on your plate. For more Food Exposed, check me out on EmpowerMe.tv. And until next week, remember, make food your best friend and exercise your companion for life.